Breaking news, the magnitude 6.4 quake in Mindanao. We have our correspondent, Dina Aran. The sound of the wind, lost in the middle of nowhere. Despite the difficulties and under the pressured circumstances, far from the Middle East to the Philippines, we drove a journey of helping hand. The journey of once our founder father, Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan Al Nahyan said, Past years have emphasized the importance of unity as a vital necessity for providing a better life to the people for ensuring stability in the country and for realizing the hopes and aspirations of our people. Today, with the year of tolerance, we all extend our support. Let's all make a difference and be someone else's inspiration. Today, let's bring back what's lost, starting from you. Magandang umaga, good morning to you mga madlang people, which is the city of Davao. Welcome everybody, we are actually currently in Davao right now, right at this moment, and it is actually 7 o'clock and something. We are almost late to go to our uh, next destination, which is going to the market and getting some stuff for our compliance that we will actually be helping in uh, Magsay Sai. Now, I wanted to show you guys what a typical Filipino food would look like right in the morning. So currently we're having something called corn silog. You all know the top silog, which is a consist of beef uh, and egg and rice. And that's what Filipino will actually have in the morning. So right now we're having a main thing is rice, which is kanin. And then secondly, we're having an egg, which is a, one of the most important part of the top silog or the corn silog and it's got high protein. We've got some vegetables right here on the mix side. You know, you gotta balance it and you gotta have some kind of vitamins on the side. And you have the corn. So this whole thing is corn, corn silog. I make it sound like very fancy and all that, but that's how it is. And we're having some coffee in the morning and we're starting our day perfect. So guys, let us go in a couple of minutes and head to the market right away. Let's go guys. So here with us is Kaiko. And she's gonna help us uh, along the way of all their journey. For Digo City, from Davao to Digo, it's one hour. Lansalan is two hours. Masaysa is two hours. And Makilala, I think. No, okay. When such uh, occasion happens, or when such earthquake happens, what are the things that Filipinos really need at this point? Because picture this: people are evacuating their houses. They don't have, they don't have any shelter. They, they would not be able to be where they are and everything is kind of broken hopes to them. So how do we support them? What do we get from here to actually be more as a help as much as we can? We can help through buying some stuff like uh, food so they can eat food daily. Somewhere? Yeah, what would be the food like? for example? Maybe like this cans, canned good. You guys, as you can see, we are actually showing you the process of us going and bringing as much as things as we can. So this is one of the things, canned food is always something that is very, uh, you can Easy store it, to, yeah. to cook, to, eat. to store, to eat, to everything. So that's what we need as first is food, food first thing. What's up guys, we are right now in Davao City and we're gonna go to Magsay side to support our Kabayans. All what you're gonna do is, we're gonna take the stuff that we have here, pack it, and go there within the next, the next three, four hours, we're gonna be there. So this is an invitation for you guys, if you are in Davao by any chance, and if you wanna meet us, let's come there, let's support our Kabayans, and let's help out as much as we can. So see you guys in Magsay side. Let's see.
So guys, uh, we just got some really good help from the NCCC team right here in uh, Davo. They've actually done a great job uh, getting us all the things here packed up. Now, we're gonna go ahead and take these things and distribute it accordingly to how many each an individual one. We're targeting about 100 or something people to be giving out. So right now, we're gonna be heading out about two hours from here, this destination, to get these things ready. So let's do it, guys. Let's support and mabuhay, Filipinas. We have actually just passed Digos. This area is close by, is where the area uh, where we're gonna be packing and organizing all the stuff and making it all under one plastic bag and then we can wrap it all together for one uh, person. So they use the space to be an actual evacuation evacuation center and area. They're from other place in here in Matsai Sai. Okay. Dito sila tumakbo. Kasi yung ibang bahay nila nasa na. Saka dito sila nag-shelter for temporary. Ito yung mga tao na kailangan tulong mo. Tulong natin. Oh, thanks. All good? Are you all good, okay? Everything okay with you guys? Yes. Sir. Sorry to hear what happened to you guys. Huh? First of all, uh, how is everyone doing? Good. You okay? Everybody speaks English or? Not all. Not all? Uh, huh? <laughs> so, 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 ibig sabihin magtagalog na lang tayo dito, no? <laughs> See, huh? I got you, right? Kala niyo mag, mag English na tayo dito, mag uh, hirapan na kayo po dito, ha? Uh, Tiyan nga pala ako si Fahad, uh, kalahating Pinoy, kalahating Arabo. Si nanay ko po taga Pangasinan, si tatay ko taga UAE sa Arab country. Sinasabi ko sa sarilo ko uh, kasi alam mo kalahating Pinoy ako at alam kong maraming nangmagyari naman dito sa, sa, sa Mindanao. Gusto kong magtutulong ng konting, hanggang, hanggang konting tulong basta sa, para sa mga kababayan natin. So pasensya na kayo kung hindi siya malaking tulong. Basta tulong naman yan. Kaya Sige po. Maraming pong salamat. Waiting on the edge of this moment Holding out for something golden Found a light on a hill I was waking up Again for peace in a world that's divided Gotta hold on tight when you find it I was turning around I was waking up I live in
It was a bundle of joy to be surrounded with the kids, uh, regardless of the situation that they are in, regardless of, of the little supply and things that we could actually support with. We were so happy to be sur surrounded by them. It's hard to say because for me, if I was in their shoes, for example, I wouldn't know where to go. I would not have a house. I would have a camping areas over here. It really breaks the heart, but it is what it is, and it's one of the nature's disasters, and it's a tragedy by itself. So. Just to confirm everything up, I would say to all the Mindanao and the ones who got affected by it, stay a stick po. Kaya and kaya natin ito. Mabuhay Pilipinas.